Ion engines may seem to come straight out of science fiction, but believe me, they are real. With their super high efficiencies and long burn durations, they may seem like they are the future of a space exploration. Join me as we discover why they are extremely efficient and why we don't see them all the time. To start, let's talk about what an ion is. An ion is an atom or a molecule that has gained or lost one or more electrons, giving it an electrical charge. Ion thrusters use this property of ions to generate thrust. Ion thrusters work by accelerating ions using an electrical field. The thruster has a small chamber, called an ionization chamber, filled with a gas such as xenon. An electron gun, which is a device that emits a stream of electrons, is used to create plasma in the chamber. Plasma is a gas that has been ionized. This means that it contains a high concentration of ions and electrons. The next step is to accelerate the ions out of the thruster. This is done using an electric field. The thruster has a set of electrodes that create a potential difference, or voltage, between them. The ions are accelerated by this electric field and are expelled out the back of the thruster, creating thrust. One of the key advantages of ion thrusters is their high specific impulse, which is a measure of how efficiently a rocket uses its propellant. Traditional chemical rockets have a specific impulse of around 450 seconds for on the higher side, while an ion thruster has a specific impulse of up to 3,000 seconds. This means that ion thrusters can generate more thrust per unit of propellant than chemical rockets, making them more efficient and allowing spacecraft to travel further and faster. Another advantage of ion thrusters is their longevity. Chemical rockets burn through their fuel quickly, meaning they can only provide short bursts of thrust. Ion thrusters, on the other hand, can operate continuously for months or even years. This makes them ideal for long-duration missions such as deep space exploration. However, ion thrusters aren't without their limitations. One major limitation is their low thrust-to-weight ratio, which suggests that they can only provide a small amount of thrust compared to their weight. This makes them unsuitable for launching spacecraft from Earth's surface, where the high thrust is needed to overcome the planet's gravity. Another limitation is their low maximum thrust. This implies that they cannot accelerate the spacecraft quickly. This limits their use for missions that require high acceleration, such as human spaceflight. Despite these limitations, ion thrusters are an influential technology for space exploration and they are likely to play a key role in future missions. They are a prime example of how science and technology can work together to overcome the challenges of space travel and unlock the mysteries of the universe. Additionally, another potential application for ion thrusters is satellite technology. Many satellites require regular adjustments to their orbits and ion thrusters can provide a highly efficient and precise means of doing so. This can extend the lifespan of satellites and reduce the amount of fuel they require, making them more cost effective. Furthermore, advancements in ion thruster technology are ongoing and researchers are working to improve their thrust to weight ratio and maximum thrust. For example, NASA's Evolutionary Xenon Thruster Dash Commercial Next C Ion Thruster has a higher thrust to weight ratio than previous models, making it more suitable for use in deep space missions. But ion engines aren't the only super high efficiency engines available. There are Hall Effect Thrusters, of which the first one launched in late 20, in 1971. And to learn more about these amazing thrusters, you need to click on the upper right right now or else you will miss out on some very important information. See ya!